Your 4x4 vehicle either has an available electronic shift on the fly or ESOF system, or an available two-speed automatic four-wheel drive system that allows you to select different 4x4 modes depending on your driving conditions. ESOF offers two high mode, which helps provide a smooth ride for normal on-road driving. Four high mode, which should only be used in off-road or slippery winter conditions like snow, ice, and shallow sand and four low mode, which gives you extra power at reduced speed for climbing hills, driving in or going through deep sand, rock crawling, or pulling a boat out of water. The two-speed automatic four-wheel drive system also gives you two high, four high, and four low modes, and adds a four automatic mode, which determines the driving conditions and provides power to the front and rear tires as needed to control wheel slip if it occurs. It's good for everyday driving and is especially useful on wet surfaces, snow, or gravel. Regardless of which system you have, you can change 4x4 modes using this switch on your center stack. Now, let's talk about how to shift between modes and what you'll see in each of them. With the F-150 4x4 system, you can shift between 2 high, 4 high, or 4 automatic at a standstill or at any speed. When you do, you may see a 4x4 shift in progress message in your instrument cluster. If you've shifted into 4 high, you'll see 4H illuminated. If you've shifted into 4 auto, you'll see 4A illuminated. And if you've shifted into 2 high, 2H will be temporarily illuminated. Remember, when shifting to and from 4 low mode in the F-150, slow down to 3 miles per hour or less and shift into neutral. And in the Ranger, you need to bring the vehicle to a stop when shifting to and from 4 low. You'll get a shift in progress message when you do. If at any time you see a shift delayed pull forward message during your shift, it means that there is a block in your 4x4 system. If this happens, shift into a forward gear, like drive, move your vehicle forward a few feet to alleviate the block, then put your vehicle into neutral. On occasion, you may hear noises when you shift into one of the 4x4 modes. And while these noises do not mean you're doing damage to your vehicle, you can get a smoother shift between modes by easing off the gas pedal while the shift in progress message is displayed in the instrument cluster. Keep in mind, your vehicle may have a feature called electronic locking rear differential. It locks the rear differential, forcing both rear wheels to spin at the same speed for improved traction and is designed for use in off-road situations. Like when you're driving in mud or on rocks for an extended period of time. To use electronic locking rear differential, just select the mode you want to be in, then push the button to select it. An icon will appear in your cluster, letting you know that your rear differential is locked. You'll need to be driving below 20 miles per hour for the system to engage, unless you're in four low mode or using four high with deep snow sand mode or mud ruts mode. And once you exceed 25 miles per hour, the system will automatically disengage. When it automatically disengages due to vehicle speed or when it is selected above the allowable speed, the icon in your cluster will be gray, indicating that the system is in standby mode. When the appropriate conditions are reached, the system will automatically engage. Any questions? Go to Ford.com support.